Okay. Um, who would like to go next? Number three. I'm just going to pump out all of these readings one by one. I uh, want to hope, or hopefully I'd like everybody to have a go if possible. Would anybody else like to have a try? Ming, would you like to have a go? Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yourself? Not bad. <laughs> That's the way. All right. Um, if you like, you can take some time and prepare and then uh, just go whenever you're ready. Actually, I don't know what means uh, the title. Homo sapiens. Ah, it's just a, uh, it, mean, it basically means humans. It's like a scientific <laughs> word for humans. Yeah. Okay. I just gave to all the title. I <laughs> yeah, start. Sure. Me. Okay. I will start. Uh, we refer to the earliest humans as human beings, and uh, they are thought to have the or or uh, originated from the Africa about uh, 100,000 years old. They traveled uh, intercontinentally by walking across the land, a feat that was possible back then due to the lower sea levels, since a large amount in Earth's water was still trapped inside ice formations. Around 50,000 years old, the first humans would uh, have crossed into Australia. All right, fantastic. Now, there's also quite a few things I would like to say about your speech, but I think the one main takeaway, I think, uh, the, the thing that I feel like is affecting your speech the most is that you're uh, saying words too quickly, basically. <laughs> okay. So yeah. what I mean is your, your average reading speed is not super fast. But the way that you say a single word is quite quick, right? And where that kind of hurts your performance is when you have words that have a lot of syllables in them, okay? So especially a word like intercontinentally, which has like a lot of little sounds in it, that's when, when you say it, it kind of gets a little bit muddy and unclear. Does that make okay. sense? Got it. Right. Yeah, so that. if you look at that word just as an example, intercontinentally, that's a seven-syllable word. Right. <laughs> and to be able to produce it clearly, you have to make sure every single syllable uh, can be recognized. Okay. Right? But when you're saying it very quickly, it sounds like this traveling wrong and <laughs> like that. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it's actually better for you to slow down. Now, one of the ways that I always recommend for people to um, improve their pronunciation is to uh, increase the movement of the mouth right yes. yeah so basically open your mouth super wide and read in a slightly maybe what we might say exaggerated way okay so for example if i was practicing you could just watch my mouth as i speak right so if i was reading a little bit more emphasis more exaggeration than i normally do it would look a bit like this they traveled intercontinentally by walking across the land a feat that was possible back then due to the lower sea levels, right? You can see the mouth is moving quite a lot. Uh, in drama class, they call that chewing the words. It's almost like you're biting into food, right? Mm. And working that jaw, right, that creates that distance and that separation. So you're producing each vowel individually. Otherwise, it's very easy for them to get kind of mixed together. Okay, copy that. Uh, yeah. And there's a lot of places in this particular reading where that's true. So, for example, 100,000 years ago, right, 100,000 also has quite a lot of syllables in it. Now, on the other side, so other than like the um, individual pronunciations of words, there was another thing that I did notice, which was in some words, you actually added some extra syllables. And especially words like and, the words that tend to end in D. For a lot of these, you were saying things like and, right? So the word and is one syllable, but you turned it into and, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So in those <laughs> cases, you actually want to cut the sound, you cut the airflow as quickly as possible. So words like land uh, was like originated as well with a D at the end. So that's just something specific that you want to look for. Any word that ends with D, you want to try to <laughs> end that particular syllable as quickly as possible. Yeah, 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 I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much. Bye.